So, good afternoon. I'm going to continue with the uh, thermodynamic, thermodynamics of an ideal gas. I'm not sure quite which way it's going. There are so many different strands and I'm trying to keep the mathematics to a minimum. Okay, so we'll certainly look at some types of uh, thermodynamic processes involving an ideal gas and we may get to specific heats. There'll be a lot of review and whatnot. So, so far what we have is this. And it's 1.38, but 10 to the power of minus 23 joules per Kelvin, the measure of the number of joules per Kelvin, per particle. Okay, so that the internal energy is U. U. And we look at the internal energy in terms of the total number of particles times the average kinetic energy per particle. Now this factor of three comes from three degrees of freedom for a monatomic gas. Now that three will become a five for a diatomic gas because in a diatomic case you have two extra degrees of freedom. The monatomic case is freedom to go up, across and in and out of the board, the x, y and z degrees of freedom, if you like, in Cartesians. But when we have a, a, a dumbbell-shaped molecule, it has two rotational degrees of freedom, this one and this one. Five, okay? Now let's see what happens when we uh, take a variation. Variation is kind of, you know, take a quantity, and vary it such that we have a delta x very close to the original, right? But just vary it a little bit. And this thing is called a variation. There is a thing called the calculus of variations, and it's a subject about which I will speak sometime. So we take a, vari a variation of a product. It obeys the same kind of rule as if we were taking a derivative. So we vary the P delta V and V delta P like a product, and we only have one variable here, and the same thing would happen here, and the delta U would appear over here. And the last time we derived an expression for the average kinetic energy per molecule, which is 3 over 2 kT. Now, delta U is what we should have here. Now, what happens when various different kinds of processes occur? We can set delta V equals zero, delta P equals zero, or delta T equals zero, and talk about different thermodynamic processes. But first, we will state the first law of thermodynamics. And that is this, that if we want to change the internal energy of a gas, ideal or otherwise, we can do it two ways. We can add heat to it, or we can do mechanical work on it. We could compress it. When you compress a spring, you put energy into it. Yeah. When you compress a gas, you decrease its volume. That will in involve putting in a minus sign in our definition of work about which we'll speak later. So. variations continue, okay? So far, so good. 
we're going to identify at least four and possibly five types of thermodynamic processes. And each process is arrived in very simply to keep your thoughts clear because it looks like some lovely little equations. The first one. In the first case, we'll say there is no change in temperature, delta T equals zero. In other words, the variation delta T is zero and the process is called isothermal. Iso means the same. Isobar, isopressure. Um, on a map, contours. Let's see, what's the word for height? Not sure, but iso something, iso, whatever. Set P equals a constant, delta P equals zero, and it's called isobaric. Set volume to be a constant, V equals constant, delta V equals zero, we call the process isochoric. What else can we set to zero? Well, let's look through these things. How about delta Q? Yeah, we could do that. When we set delta Q equals zero, we're saying that no heat enters or leaves the system. It's said to be adiabatic. What does that mean? Okay, when you open a can of soda and suddenly, boom, you see all the vapor coming out. That happened really quickly. That's an, ice, that's an adiabatic process. When an engine fires, the piston is at the top dead center, the engine goes down really quickly, but no heat gets out of the system. Work gets done. Um, Later on, the heat escapes through the exhaust, but that's um, also an example of an adiabatic process, one that happened really quickly. One that happens so slowly that, say, quasi-statically, is said to be also adiabatic if no heat leaves the system over a really, you know, long period of time. So there are the different kinds of thermodynamic process, and we look at them individually. Before we do anything, We'll look at delta W. And I'm not sure what delta W equals zero will turn out to be, but it's possible that there is such a thing. But, you know, I'm finding my way through this slowly. We'll see where we end up. So let's look at work done on a gas. Well, we look at it this way. First of all, we put our, get our gas in the piston and cylinder arrangement. So we have the piston cylinder, cylinder system. say if we compress the gas, V1 goes to V2 such that V2 is less than V1. And we begin 
begin by compressing at constant pressure. Suppose we compress from 4 to 3 meters cubed, this quantity is going to be negative. The units are newton meters. However, when we compress a gas, okay, we put work into it. Let's look at the spring. store those 10 joules in such time as they retrieve. This is the exact same situation. I compress the gas to change its volume to get a lesser volume, so therefore then I must define this in such a way that our work is positive. Some people like to say the work done by the gas. I, I steer away from that. If we put work into, let's just do it logically. If we put work into a gas, it now c contains that number, that amount of energy. It has it stored, right? But one way or another, we'll say that the work done when the pressure is constant and we change from volume V1 to V2 picks up a minus sign. pressure is varying uh, between V1 and V2, more generally we say that the work done on the gas is given by the integral V1 to V2 P delta V. I'm saying work done by gas, but I, textbooks love to play around with that. When you actually get to do a calculation and solve a problem, it's much easier to track these signs. Let's look now at a, an, uh, the different kinds of processes. And we're going to begin with an isothermal process. And that will do us for today. I'll come back to the others later. So T, the temperature, is going to remain constant in the system. Now the volume could change, but one way or another, T equals constant. I'll just hang on to those three equations for now. Okay? Well, 
now this is an isothermal process. So that object there is zero. So therefore then there's no change in internal energy either, okay? As far as I can see. Looks like it. But these two objects are non-zero. And what about the work done on the get by the gas? We can say that the work done is going to be the integral of V1 to V2, P delta V. Well, using the ideal gas law, this one here, I can just say that P is nR delta T, and these two guys are constant. out of 1 over v delta dv, and of course that's a logarithmic integral. sine times log v2 minus v1. So I just swap the two terms by removing the bracket or bringing this sign in here. Well, when we subtract logs, it's equivalent to division. So I have the useful result. from point 1 to point 2 following the path defined by P equals nRT over V is a log of V1 over V2. Now that's the isothermal process and we'll do some examples with that. Next ones coming up are going to be, well let's just look at them. <clears throat> Now we can carry over our definition of work to um, this one. DW with a negative sign because we said that we needed that sign before. Okay, so let's see what we can have. Okay, so the delta P equals zero. That term is gone. This is a constant. Uh, there is a constant there again. So all I've got is bring it down here too. Now uh, what else can I do with this that's useful? Well I have a delta P over there but I'll leave that now because this is coming up to the um, 
specific heats of gases. Process. This guy is non zero, but this one vanishes. So we have a slightly different equation, nothing special, by the way. Anything else I can say with that? No. Now the next one, that's, this is number three. process, this term here vanishes. Now I didn't say there was any change in the temperature. But the delta Q part is zero, okay? processes with more examples later that'll do for this session of 26 minutes.